How much you pay for this? 2200 bucks. Matt's prepping some steak, got some bacon. But today, we're here to look at this beautiful beast of Mr. Fife here. Out here at beautiful Boulder Creek by the Four Peaks area. The last video we did on this truck, we had the truck bed tent. We have this beautiful camper. Why did you get this camper, Fife? Why didn't you just keep your truck bed tent? I mean, <laughs> uh, the breakdown. Um, yeah. It was getting old, and I kind of wanted something with hard sides, but not completely a hard side camper. So I went with a pop-up. They're hard to find, but I ended up finding one for a good price, and I painted the inside and updated it a little bit. Yeah, this thing's pretty light, too. How much does it weigh? 900 pounds dry. Super so. light. 99. F 250 with a 73. I've done some work just intake, exhaust, upgrade some injectors, and uh, and it's got a tune. But that's about it. Pretty mild. Yeah, it's Bilstein shock, worn locking hubs, right? Yep, yep. Some little light bars. You just put these pods on. These pods are super bright. Yeah, they're impressive for what they are, aren't they? Yeah. Nye lights, of course, for the wind. Yeah, I've had it for like four years now, so I wanted to. I use it for everything, work, daily driving, adventuring, so I wanted something I could put in the bed of my truck, unload it, and still be able to use a truck during the, the week or something like that. How much you pay for this? 2200 bucks. Wow. Yeah. So not much, it's a good deal. So yeah, this is the cockpit. Uh, I've got my gauges, hydro tuner, and that's about it. Got a radar detector, and usually when I go on long trips, I'll put up the tablet and run GPS off that. But I don't have that up right now. GPS signal acquired. Oh, she talks to you too. Who's she, what's her name? She didn't have one. That's just the voice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I like your garage a lot. So this, I figured, you have a propane tank sitting in a square container. It takes up a lot of space, a lot of wasted space. So I got one of those bucket caddies that you use for like construction, and I wrapped it around my propane tank to keep my spare tools. Yeah, that's so awesome. I got plug-ins for the camper, stakes, screwdrivers, knives, mallet. Just the stuff you use every day on a campsite. That's awesome. And the solar light above it, these things are crazy. Oh yeah, we love these. So, in fact, I don't remember the brand name, do you? No, we'll, we'll, we'll link it though. <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing... so long ago, but they, they work great. Yeah. Oh, the trasheroo that's turned <laughs> What? Half the bacon? Yeah, not really. It blew out? Oh, jeez. Do we need to be supervising, Matt? I don't know. Should we stop the walk around? No. <laughs> no. All right, good luck. Like so. A shriek of bacon? <laughs> shriek of bacon. Shriek. Shriek. Yeah. bacon shriek. Ah, it's ruined. All right, back to our regular scheduled programming. Got the trash room, which I'm sure everybody knows they fade. Another solar light, and I put a, a heavy outdoor shower here, so for some reason, that's how the shower head holder came. So I'm not really <laughs> sure how you would use that. <laughs> so I ended up buying one, and it came with some 3M on the back. You stick it, yeah. just a panel, and it's kind of nice because it tilts as well. Oh yeah, that's it. sweet straight up or you can have it angled and the plan for that is to maybe get one of those little tents yeah and keep this like an outdoor shower area nice yeah. so the fact that these rico titan jacks fold up is so cool especially for off-roading yeah, right that's a, that's, yeah, that's a big thing for me how they fold it up kind of gets rid of your approach angle when you have a big thing, big yeah. thing hanging down and yeah this actual camper was made for a t100 a Toyota? So yeah, so that's oh, why it wow. fits in here. 
so nicely. So you can close the tailgate. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. But we don't want to do this when he's sleeping. Now that'll because... be because then I'd have to duke the hazard and go out the emergency <laughs> exit over the hood. <laughs> Still getting used to having all this stuff camping. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I can just go wash my hands. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a full-size door, so most have that half door. This thing opens up, and you can have a screen here. Yeah, that's sweet. And then you got a panel to put in here, too. Just want to close that up. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Get in there. This is definitely one of the better doors I think I've seen on a pop-up. Because, like you said, it's a full-size door. Well, it turns into oh, one, at least. Yeah. That's super cool. And then the whole back. This is, I mean, it's a hard side back, really. So that's a lot cool. of people say they have issues with these um, leaking and stuff. Um, I'm sure because it's not perfect. I mean, it folds in and everything. So I haven't had any issues with it yet, thankfully. So I'll keep everybody posted on that. <laughs> of course, you got the turf, and then the turf continues a little bit, yeah, which I like. I just had an extra cutoff, and it happened to fit perfectly right there. That could probably go in the cooler. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That could go. Let's test fit it. Dang! Oh my gosh, that's perfect for the cooler. Hey, sweet. <coughs> Welcome to my porch. That's cool. Storage. We've got three drawers here. I keep like plastic wear in there. Honestly, still trying to find places to put things. Uh, this is the show Rotella tea team. Oh, nice. Tons of hats. So it's got one. Uh, let's see. <laughs> so yeah, there's the outdoor shower water hookup. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. So these go to the inside of the bed. Oh, so wow. you can store fishing poles or what, what have you in there. And they're still protected from the elements. Sit inside your bed, but they're not in your camper, technically. Like, Saw the uh, little closet cabinet, I'm sure. Maybe not? No. Yeah, lots of space in there. cabinet, and I got a little harvest box there. And then this, I keep all the tools in it. So I got a tool bag in here, some electrical connections, a tarp, bungees. Tons of space. Yeah, there is quite a bit. There's another drawer here that you can never get to when you close it. So I don't keep anything that I really need except just extra bags and like a sunscreen in there. Yeah, so this drawer you can't get to when the top's down. Is there anything else? There's these little cubbies behind You here. can't do when the top's when down? When the top's down? Yeah. Well, you can't lift the bed. So if you need anything underneath the bed, yeah, that's not happening. But otherwise, everything else is still accessible. This all drops down to about yeah. here. You can still get paper towel even. Yeah. And getting the top up Getting the first up. getting it down. Let's so they normally that. come with a hand crank because this is an old Hiko. So you put it in here and normally you would hand crank it. That takes entirely too long, so I just use the drill. Nice. Yeah, I got this attachment. You can buy them on eBay. And I just let the power of the drill lift it up. It takes about six seconds. Yeah, going up is fast, but going Super down. Fast. Going down, the only issue with the Palominos is they got this rain fly that hangs around and likes to drape down. So you kind of got to tuck it in there as you go. It's kind of a pain, but a small price to pay to have a camper. We got AC, we got a three burner stove by Wedgwood. We got a 16 gallon tank with a sink. Thanks, Wally, for the sink cover. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got some underbed storage. Keep like my camp kitchen and some water shoes and some trash bags, some random stuff in there. This folds down into another bed. So if you got the table and you're just by yourself, the table's from the barn door store, got it made. It's Naughty Alder. So okay. I believe this is uh, Golden Oak and this is Dark Walnut. Here, I'll show you guys. Sweet. Might as well. So this is, yeah, that's like your standard RV kind of camper table mount. go like that naughty alder look like at that. that man that's awesome and now you can have a guest yeah or you can sleep in it when the top's down yeah if you don't want to pop it all up and do that yeah and that's that's pretty it's i mean not every pop-up has that ability no, which it's kinda is nice actually yeah. kind of don't have the biggest dinette but you got another place to sleep someone yeah and all reupholstered pads this is, is this? Yeah, this has all been reupholstered. Yeah. The mattress is also brand new. I had that made out of uh, memory foam. Check it out. And then I wrapped it in a skin. Cool. Does this thing stay insulated pretty well? It does. Yeah, we've camped in some pretty yeah. cold weather. Uh, that first night, 
King of the Hammers. I don't know how cold it was, but I didn't even have the heater on or anything. But King of the Hammers, yeah. Yeah. Almost, you turn the heater on, it gets too hot. Hang on, Lang. Don't you want to hang on, Lang, with me? All right. Now awesome. that we're done with the walk around, we got to eat. Oh. oh. I told him you gotta look at it. We got ourselves a New York strip in here. Straight from New York. <laughs> <laughs> Live from New York, it's Saturday night! Would you eat a pie, Peter? Wait, are you gonna make a burrito? Yep. Mm. So, yeah, like when it's down, you can see there's just a little bit extra sticking out. So bungees would help that. Right now you kind of got to get up the ladder and smush it in there for them. So here, let's let's help them out a little. Oh yeah. 